Hi, here I am again in the Circo Massimo. It's Sunday evening on the 23rd of September 2018 and the full moon is just rising behind me now. Um, from what I said the other day in, uh, in an earlier video, you might be wondering why I'm back here at the Circo Massimo. Well, it's only just because I've been up the Aventine Hill taking photographs, honestly. Um, it's not what I said the other day. In fact, as you can see, it's now um, a, a really wonderful place for promenade, for so many people just walking around. And there are dozens upon dozens taking photographs of this amazing moon. Uh, Sunday the 24th of September um, 1918 was a really special date for me because it's when I moved to London to start the very next day on the HIV ward at St Mary's Paddington. The experience of working as a staff nurse on that HIV ward was to uh, change and transform my life in so many ways. Um, at first I found it hard after having left the priesthood, especially um, with a lot of heartache about it. But I moved to London to do some psychological counselling, uh, some, some uh, education for psychological counselling, and to work on the HIV ward. In those early days, I didn't want people to, to know that I'd been a priest. And um, uh, gradually the news got out, many members of staff found out, and then some of the patients as well. And there was one in particular who was moving closer towards death, and um, uh, he asked me if I'd help him to prepare his funeral. I was a bit reluctant at first because I thought um, I needed to move away from the, the priestly stuff I've been doing, but he assured me this was not going to be a religious ceremony at all, but in fact he wanted um, a celebration of his life at the London Lighthouse and then uh, for cremation at the West London Crematorium. I'd only been working on the ward for seven months when a job was advertised at the Middlesex Hospital and it was as a lecturer practitioner in HIV studies. Now I'd only been working in the speciality for seven months. I was a, um, a D grade staff nurse, the equivalent of a band five today and my first degree is in theology and I wasn't a qualified teacher then. So I didn't think I'd stand much chance of getting this lecturer practitioner's post. But so many of my colleagues were encouraging me to apply for it. So I applied and on the, uh, the day of the interview was actually the day of this patient's uh, celebration of life and his cremation. And I was running a little bit late. Now this was in the very early days of mobile phones, but I certainly didn't have one. And they were like those big huge brick things in those days. So I had to use a pay phone to phone the College of Nursing and explain that I was going to be a, um, a little bit late because I was just cremating a patient. Now, when I went for the interview, they absolutely loved this. Um, so thank you very much to that dear patient who asked me to do it because uh, there were five other people who, uh, who were interviewed for the post as well. And when um, the interviews were over, I was given the post immediately. And when I asked why they'd chosen me and not the others, who were far more experienced in teaching and all qualified teachers, the answer was that um, uh, it, because I'd just done that cremation. They said that they wanted people in those days on an HIV course to talk about bereavement and loss. And they said that lots of the others would have been doing it from a textbook. But here I was just after having cremated somebody. So it was really fortuitous to be at that place and that time.